Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome to the first episode of Google Play Weekly in the year 2014. CES is right around the corner, and the holiday season is finally over, so let's take a look at what happened in the world of applications this week. <laughs> In our first bit of news this week, LG is expected to announce a brand new application at CES called HomeChat. HomeChat is an application that lets you control your appliances using text messages. Obviously, you'll have to buy the compatible appliances for it to work, but this is actually really cool. You'll be able to do things like put your fridge in power saver mode, start and monitor your washing machine, tell your vacuum to clean at certain times, turn on your oven, and a host of other features. LG will be using the popular Line application, which is available on most mobile and PC operating systems, so you'll be able to use it almost anywhere. Late last week, there was an exploit that was announced that allows hackers to steal people's phone numbers. To date, over 4 million Snapchat users have had their usernames and phone numbers exposed. If you want to see if you've been affected, you can go to www.snapcheck.org and enter your username or password to see if you're one of the 4.6 million who have been affected. The funny thing is, the blog said the exploit could be fixed by altering all of 10 lines of code. To make matters worse, they've known about the exploit for 4 months and never fixed it. If you use Snapchat, we recommend you keep an eye out until the exploit gets fixed. Jedi Academy was a popular action game from 2003 that was good for a myriad of reasons, including excellent gameplay and the immediate use of lightsabers. If you like that game and want to play it again, you can now get it on Android. It's not a straight port like you'd see with other games, it's just the game engine that's been ported and in order to play the game you must also have the PC version. It's $1.95 for the app and $6.99 for the PC version on Steam currently, so you'll need about 9 bucks to get everything up and running. Once everything is downloaded, you just copy a few files from the PC version to your device and it's ready to go. In case you happen to miss it, we at Android Authority released our list of the best applications of 2013. This also included the worst apps and the most controversial applications, and also some categories like best design and best design video game. We had a lot of fun doing it and, of course, we encouraged our readers to tell us some of their favorite apps of 2013 so you can see what other people liked and disliked as well. If you want to check it out, we'll have a link to the video here at the end of the show so you can check that out if you'd like to see it. In our last bit of news this week, we'd like to talk about a free Android developer class that's taking place on January 21st and runs for several weeks that you can sign up for right now. If you check out the written companion in the video description, we'll have a link to the original article where you can get more information on that. The class runs a grand total of eight weeks and will cover things like setting up a development environment, actually coding the applications, permissions, several code classes, and a lot more. If you've been looking to get into Android development, we highly recommend you check this one out. I'm going to be checking it out personally, so you might even see me there. So who wants to see some trending applications? As usual, if you want to check any of these applications out, you can find the links in the written companion in the video description. First up this week is a brand new application called Recollect. In the style that has become popular in Android, Recollect takes a fairly old concept like to-do lists and improves the design by such a degree that it feels like a new experience. How it works is you put something on the list and a place where that thing will take place. Then when you show up at that place, your phone will remind you. It's pretty nice, check it out. Drastic recently got a huge update that not only fixed some bugs and improved performance, but also added some much needed support for MOGA controllers and the KitKat Art runtime. It's still a tad expensive at $5.99, but it's far and wide the best DS emulator available right now, and there is a free demo so you can try it before you buy it. The popular Twitter app Carbon has released an update to what they're calling Carbon 2.0. In this huge update, there is a totally redesigned user interface and a host of new features including redesigned timelines, swipeable tabs, font customizations, threaded DMs, multiple account support, and a whole lot more. It's free to try so there's no real reason not to give it a shot and it does look quite nice. Reddit is fun is one of the highest rated and most popular Reddit apps for Android and on January 1st the developers kicked off the new year by releasing a huge update. Included are a number of fixes for things like widget titles and theme downloads. There are also new settings, new sort options, new display options, and a lot more. If you're shopping for a new Reddit app we recommend you give this one a try. Microsoft apps have never done traditionally well on Android, but you can't fault them for continuing to try to make things better. That said, OneNote received a sizable update that includes a new widget, the ability to share web content, finally, multi-window mode, and other various improvements and bug fixes. If you're a user of OneNote already, it may be time to give the application another chance. Once again, I'm Joe Hindy, the Android Authority App Guy, and this has been Google Play Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have some really awesome videos for you to watch right over there. Also, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description. Thank you again for watching, and have a wonderful day.